Assalamualaikum Good night my friend In this time I want to show you about how to repairing the Toshiba laptop There is cannot detect the hard drive mm, the hard drive condition is okay we have tried this at the other laptop when I get into the BIOS the BIOS set up I have no Uh, I mean the hard the hard drive not detected uh, there so I think this is caused by by the problem at the mother what so I need to to disassemble this laptop okay now we can I can access this motherboard of this the motherboard of this laptop the first step to find the problem source of this list of this laptop is uh, checking the power supply that that's checking the voltage that that supplying that supply the hard drive jadi langkah pertama yang kita lakukan adalah cek tegangan yang menyuplai hard disk barangkali mungkin tegangannya enggak ada because if this fault eh, if the, the voltage that supply applying the hard drive not working this is will the problem I mean this this will will the hard drive will not detect if uh, I check the schematics of this laptop here we can see the SATA HDD head pitch pitch 33 let's check this okay this is the connector of SATA that connecting hard drive to the motherboard GN203 eh, 2023 GN2023 <coughs> okay, kita, kita bisa lihat di sini ya uh, tegangan supply untuk hard, drive, hard disk yang melalui SATA ini adalah 5 volt plus 5 volt the voltage that supplying the hard drive is 5 volt at this point 5 volt this this line connect uh, or this line we can see here plus 5 volt baik kita cek dulu tegangannya di di dekat port port SATA yang seharusnya 5 volt ya 
ternyata cuma keluar 2,73 2,073 fall this is not good this should be 5 fall Okay, so uh, let's check or let's find where is this voltage produced. Jadi kita cari tegangan yang volt ini diproduksi di mana. Okay, how to find this? How to find this? Uh, just type plus 5 volt and press enter usually the uh, a level voltage of the laptop motherboard <coughs> produced by a controller IC and a MOSFET okay this is 5 volt and this is the 5 volt source so the 5 volt that's applying supplying the hard drive produced by produced at this point by this MOSFET <coughs> so let's check the voltage at PQ 5012 this should be filed if this should be filed 5 volt jadi seharusnya di MOSFET ini keluar tegangan 5 volt oke okay. PQ5012 oke okay, this is the PQ5012 and let's check it out at the pin 1 this should be 5 volt at the pin 4 this should be uh, 5 volt pin 1 is normal 5 volt but pin 4 as at the SATA port just about 2.7 Okay, friend. I will try to replace this MOSFET. I think this MOSFET not good. Okay, you can see here. This MOSFET get the signal five point one four volt. This should be should be uh, <coughs> about six four six four I think. <coughs> okay, I will 
deepest this most felt Okay, now the PQA uh, PQ five zero twelve have replaced with uh, the normal MOSFET, and let's check the voltage at this MOSFET pin one, pin uh, three, and pin four. Pin 1 should be 5 volt and pin 4 should be about 6 volt 6 volt okay. I'm sorry, pin 4 about 5 volt and pin 3 about 6 volt This is the signal from the uh, mine on mine online okay the pin 1 5 volt pin 3 6.5 volt okay this is normal P 6.3 and pin 4 5.134 volt okay this is okay I think Now the shut off port, shut off port get the 5.134 volt. Okay, let's check with the hard drive. Okay, this is working. can feel this can hear the hard drive sound when working i was testing this using the the uh, the screen this is the screen of this laptop and let's check at the BIOS display okay, turn on I use the external keyboard here okay this is the BIOS setup display and now the hard drive have detected you can see here this is okay you know that this is the hard drive Hitachi Alright, now the hard drive have detected by the BIOS.
this is the hard drive have detected. into the windows okay my friend all done now the lip the hard drive detected detected we find uh, And uh, now we have we have now that is caused by the the broken of the MOSFET that controlling the voltage the voltage of the hard drive the voltage that supplying the hard drive. Jadi ini salah satu ya salah satu penyebab dari sebuah laptop tidak bisa mendeteksi harddisk padahal harddisknya dalam kondisi normal salah satunya disebabkan oleh kerusakan pada MOSFET oke okay, thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel like and share this video and see you next time and, and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi